In this video, we're going to explore how you can copy an array items into another array. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to merge two arrays together. And we're going to do it in JavaScript. It's very common here if you have experience how to use push, you're probably assuming we're going to use push for this. Although this is not the case and I'm going to show you exactly why. But before I start with that, if you want to learn more about Chart.js, check out my Chart.js Udemy course which you can find in the description box. All right, let's start and explore. So this is very common here. If you if you use push, you figure out that push will just always add up values at the very end of an array. So you might say, well, if that's the case, probably this will work very well if you have two different arrays. Let's start and explore how, to, how many people tend to do it and then they discover it doesn't work. So we're going to give you a constant and this constant will be quarter one meaning that we have only three months in this quarter. So I say here, January, comma, Feb, and March. And then we have another constant, which is Q number two, which is the second quarter of the year. And then here we will put in May, comma, April, uh, sorry, this will be May, I'm not paying attention, April and June. All right, so what might be very common is, let me say the console.log, I'm going to show our values here. And if we would do the following, we say here, q1.push, and let's say we do push, and then we say April. Semicolon here, semicolon here, and let's see what happens. If we do this and refresh, you can see now what happened is we get four values. It sees April being added in here. So the most logical one would be saying, well, all right, just push this value at the very end because that's what it does. It adds it to the end. But if you will do that, you will see something else happening. So let's refresh now. And then what happens is it sees four values. As you can see here, January, February, March. And then it sees an array. And what is this array? Well, this array consists these items here. So that means the length is four. So well, let's do double check here. We say console.log, and then we say here q1.length, and then semicolon here, and save. Refresh, you can see the length is four and not six. What happened? Basically, it creates a new array, and this array is, again, an array within itself, which is just these values here. It's like an object. So basically it's like this. This is not what we want because basically we're breaking now our construction or our array is now not doing exactly what we want. We cannot get the values out of it. To get this value, we have to work completely different. This is not what we want. So what can we do instead of push? Well, the secret is to use concatenate, concat. Concat basically means merging. And if you concatenate these two values together, you will see now it will start to work perfectly fine. So let's put this back here and let's save this. And now let's check and refresh. As you can see here, all right, it shows you the length, the, that's correct, concatenate. Um, what we need to do here is only one thing. We need to create a new constant because it will not add directly on here. So we say here, have year, so have hy is our new constant. And this constant covers this, and then we have this one here as well. We save this, refresh, now we get everything concatenated together. So this is basically what you want, to copy array items into another array. All you have to do is to combine these two together with the concat function, and concat stands for merge, concatenate, so basically putting them together, merging values together into a single array. All right. So if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this, put them in the comment section below.